complete weapon system consists of many aspects, all interwoven into one compact functional unit. However, the system is not useful as an offensive or defensive weapon until each contributing factor has attained satisfactory performance. Successful achievement of the ultimate purpose of the weapon depends upon the design and development of each factor to the point of demonstrated reliability and serviceability. The Regulus II weapon system has demonstrated this reliability and serviceability. Since the initiation of the program, all efforts have been directed toward the accomplishment of this goal at the earliest possible time. In May of 1956, Regulus II made its initial flight from the lake bed at Edwards Air Force Base. Operating under command control from accompanying aircraft, the missile demonstrated excellent stability. During the following 17 months, 20 flights were accomplished covering all basic flight regimes up to speeds of Mach 1.8 and altitudes above 50,000 feet. In this initial phase, the recoverability feature of the test missiles resulted in an average of four flights per missile with one missile being flown six times. This recoverability demonstrates the economical aspects of this concept for training purposes. In November 1957, the first boosted launch was accomplished from a short rail mobile launcher using a 115,000-pound thrust booster of four seconds duration. This launch also marked the first flight of the improved version of Regulus II, utilizing the J-79 engine. During the past year, a total of 28 launches have been accomplished. This is an average of more than two launches per month, and all have been successful. The majority of the flight patterns for these flights has been accomplished using out-of-sight control. An automatic ground control landing system has been employed on two flights. This system requires no control aircraft and has been successfully demonstrated. and tooling of the production airborne inertial guidance system and associated checkout equipment has been completed. Inertial guidance has been flown in the missile seven times, successfully demonstrating proper functioning of this equipment in the missile environment. These flights in the missile, as well as in a piloted aircraft test bed, have substantiated the estimated accuracy of the developmental system. Missile flights at sea have been initiated with launches from the surface ship USS King County and the submarine USS Grayback, shown here. On 15 September 1958, Grayback proceeded to sea for the final dress rehearsal 
prior to her first Regulus II launch. September, the Regulus II weapon system, ship, missile, checkout equipment, and crew was successfully demonstrated. In the logistic support system, a method has been developed for the transportation and storage of Regulus II. Sealed van-type containers have been designed and built to provide rapid handling and moving. A flatbed truck carries the entire unit. This system provides economical transportation as well as a suitable means of long-term storage. The flight test evaluation has been pursued at a steady pace to develop a missile that will be completely operational when delivered to the customer. Fabrication of mobile control and checkout equipment has kept pace with the expanding program. More tactical missile operations have been accomplished demonstrating the terminal dive maneuver and warhead fusing. coverage shown here is from high-speed cameras located in the target area. In summary, the Regulus II is an existing, proven weapon system. All major developmental programs have been completed, and the missile's reliability has been established. Delivery of the entire weapon is but a matter of months rather than years.